On this episode of the CBD University podcast, maximizing your sell through during the holiday season, we recently discussed a new study navigating the complicated world of CBD and retail. Now make sure you are ready to take advantage of added foot traffic during the holiday season and maximize your sell through of popular impulse CBD prod purchases at your store. This is the CBD University podcast, and it starts right now. I'm Joe Agostinelli, host of the CBD University podcast. If you are a returning listener, thanks for tuning in once again. If you are a new listener, we are glad you found us on your podcast platform of choice. A reminder, you can see full video episodes of our podcast on the Global Widget YouTube channel and the YouTube channel of our brands, Hemp Bombs and Nature Script. And speaking of our brands, you can find those brands in over 25,000 retail locations nationwide. And with last minute gift ideas in mind, Retailers can maximize their sell through of CBD products this holiday season with some helpful tips to get ready for that added holiday foot traffic. Joining me for this episode of the podcast, no stranger to the podcast, is our Vice President of Sales, Vince Gillen. Vince, thanks for joining me once again. Absolutely. Thanks, Joe. Good to be here. Lots, lots of new products in 2020. Uh, we went through some of the product ideas back on our previous episode. That would be episode 48 for the holidays and everybody in your life who's a CBD fan. But for retailers, having that eye-popping display that can really set products apart is one of the key ways to maximize their thrill through. And we saw a change in displays this year too, along with products. Uh, Discuss a little bit about that. Absolutely, we made a big change to our displays uh, once we launched our new gummy line, changed the packaging, added a topper display to really just make it pop. And I think a lot of retailers are hoping that throughout this holiday season, there is an uptick in foot traffic that maybe they haven't seen in the last six, seven months uh, due to COVID. So, um, you know, that part about having a good display to help sell through your CBD category has not changed. Um, And definitely right now, it's probably more important ever to make sure it's stocked, highly visible. uh, And we do a good job of making sure that the displays we send out and place in retail have uh, you know, proper graphics, it's eye-catching, and uh, yeah, it just got to look good and, and really sell itself. And the biggest change in the display used to be, and we've had the display on the podcast before, now we have our studio decorated for the holiday season, um, it was a countertop display, and now it's more of a floor display. Well, actually, it's both. So so retailers that have been having success with the counter display, mm-hmm. which is the, the one that you guys have seen before here, Um, have added a floor display to really house multiple brands. And what we've seen is it's a great complement to the counter display. Mm -hmm. So so the counter display is still very important and key Mm -hmm. to have right up front by the register. But if you have, you know, two, three, four different brands, you can put them in a floor display and really give CBD a home is what we like to say. So you have an eye catching display on the counter and then you're also catching foot traffic and, and the eyes in the store on that floor display where you can have other brands, maybe some higher dollar items that you're not used to selling on the counter. So it just gives more assortment, it holds more inventory, and yet yeah, the goal is to improve sell through. And let's talk about that when we talk about the pricing, because important feature with any grab and go impulse purchase is that price point. And we're talking gummies, oils, popular top, topical products, excuse me, from $9.99 to $19.99 in the uh, retail space. Has anything changed with those? That has not changed. In fact, uh, based on our, our sell-through data that we're getting through our partner spins, uh, we're seeing it even more today that that $9.99 to $19.99 range is exactly what consumers are buying in, in the stores that our product's in. Um, so those are great price points. Now, we have seen an uptick in some of the items that are made $29.99 and $39.99 but it's still those best sellers are right there in that price range, which we've always been doing well in. And the data has just proven that even throughout 2020. And outside of the displays and the products that are featured inside the displays, what type of signage can retailers take advantage to call attention to those eye-popping displays so people know exactly where, where to find them? So, and that's, that hasn't changed either. I, I feel like sometimes we're beating a dead horse with talking about window cleans, yard signs, uh, the topper on top of the acrylic itself, uh, trifolds, you know, other, other material like that. We've seen some retailers starting to use floor decals, 
uh, mm. maybe with the spacing with the whole COVID thing, six feet mm-hmm. apart. So, you know, you can get creative with it, but the basics are, have not changed and that's what helps sell the product. And whether it's the floor display or the counter display, still the educational material and resources available Correct. to retailers and consumers? Yeah, yes, exactly. That's also proven to be key as well. We've heard over and over again that category managers want, they don't want their employees having to educate uh, consumers in, the, in their stores on CBD when somebody may only be in there for less than four minutes. So they want to you know, be able to grab what they have, get some education and material themselves and make a buying decision without having to engage maybe the, the store employee that also may not know a lot about the product. And in some cases they may not you know, really want to try to sell something. So having trifolds and education material that is product and brand specific does help and that's proven itself as well and interesting to point out we've hit this on a couple of past episodes especially with the new products is the new packaging and labeling still has the qr codes where they can get the cbd 101 which is our educational tool for consumers and retailers by just scanning the qr code from their mobile device absolutely and we've actually taken that a step further internally to see how the qr codes have been active in in the, the retail space and the, the data we're getting back actually gives us the geographic location of who's scanning the QR codes and trying to learn about CBD and our product. So it's, it's pretty great to see that something we pushed, you know, two years ago, a year ago is still very relevant and it's becoming something that consumers can use to educate themselves on our CBD products. And speaking of consumer education and CBD products, another, uh, Avenue that we haven't discussed. We discussed so much about the gifts for, you know, gummies, oils, tinctures for each other, but we don't talk about the CBD users and pet owners who are shopping for CBD products for their pets. And they can find those two in the retail space from our Perfect Paws Hemp and our Hemp Bombs brand. What do we have in store for uh, pet owners? Right. The four-legged friends. Yeah, the four-legged friends. So uh, chews, uh, we just launched those. We had a, a biscuit and we switched to a chew product uh, that's that's really taken off. So Perfect Paws has a has a chew product that's $19.99. The Hemp Bomb's uh, a little bit less quantity in there, so it's $9.99. The, they have consistently been the best seller. Uh, then you have oils, the paw butter, a couple topicals, paw butter and shampoo that do very well. But yeah, the, the, the chew products seem to be very, very popular for pet owners, particularly dogs. Um, we do have a cat oil, so I don't want to discriminate like the uh, <laughs> cat owners. So, but yeah, the pet products have definitely you know, been a huge hit. And I think that that vertical itself in retail ha- has gotten uh, a lot more attention with CBD from, from vets and, mm-hmm. and people just talking about alternative ways to help their, their pets. And you're a pet owner, correct? Are you a pet owner? Yes. Yes. Someone's a pet owner because right. I've seen we it on a, I've seen it on social media, we, we, so I know we have a cat. Yes. <laughs> and the cat does you <laughs> you think I was you don't so, think I'm watching. <laughs> yeah, so the cat, uh our cat, Leo, he, he does use the shampoo and awesome. it smells amazing. The tropical scent it's and tropical it's in, scent. and that's actually a good point because the cat uses shampoo, but really People think of it as a dog shampoo, but dogs and cats That's right. can both use it. Absolutely. It's good. So. Well, Vince, thank you for taking time out of your busy day as always to join me on our podcast as we go through uh, some tips for retailers as we head into this holiday season. We know it's a much different holiday season than holiday season's past. past, past excuse me. So on behalf of everyone here at uh, Global Widget, we uh, wish all of our retailers and our consumers a safe, healthy, and happy holiday season. Vince will be back towards the end of the year as we take a look back at the year in review in wholesale, and uh, we'll cover 2020 as best we can and all we brought new to the retail market. So thanks for joining me once again. Look forward to having you back soon. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Joe. And thank you for tuning into this episode of the CBD University podcast. I once again wish you and your family a safe, healthy, and happy holiday season. Thanks for tuning in. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. The CBD products are not intended to treat, cure, or prevent any disease or condition. Always consult your personal physician about CBD and using CBD products. CBD should never be used by anyone under the age of 18. 
This content is not intended to provide legal advice regarding the legal status of CBD and CBD products.